Hi, in this video, we will talk about how to get element text in Playwright. So for that, I created one class called get element text test and I created a test method called get element text. So first I'll create a page instance. Page page is equals to Playwright dot create dot chromium dot launch options new browser type dot launch options dot set headless false dot new page so i created a new page instance so now page dot navigate So what is the website I'm going to take? So I'm going to take one of the websites called dev.automationtesting.in slash text. So once you come here, you see in the more section, you have one of the options called text. So click on that. So you'll come to here, this page. So take this URL. Okay. So then I want to print this text. Okay. Just inspect that. So this is, I do not have any specific unique locator. So I'll write, so the above you have H5, so plus span, okay. So I take you know, this CSS locator, H5 plus span, then it will identify this text, right? When you hover on this, it will get highlighted. So I'll take that. So before that, we can get the element text using three ways. Okay. So one is using inner text method. The second one is text content. And third one is inner html okay so by using these three methods we can get the text of any particular element and we can print on the console so we will we will see with these three options okay so first i'll take string using inner text okay so we can do page dot locator what is that locator this is the locator dot you see that inner text inner html text content okay so first i'll take inner text okay and I want to print that. So I'll say inner text plus using inner text. So I'll uh, wait for three seconds just to see the execution properly and then paste dot close. Okay get element text we can do three ways inner text text content inner html and i'm using here inner text okay let me execute and see whether it is printing the text which is there on the website or not we will see first So there are a few updates. So it is downloading those updates before executing your test case. So we'll wait for that. It will not take more time.
I think it's done. Now it will open the browser. So I'll wait for three seconds. And you see here in the down, you see inner text. Here is a dummy text with the ID text div that is has inner text, inner HTML and text content to test out. So that is what is there, right? Here is a dummy text with ID text div that has inner text, inner HTML and the text content to test out that it is printing. So now we'll see the other options also. And using text content. Okay. Page dot locator dot so text content. Yes out. So text content using text content. So I'll I'll try to use the other one inner HTML also. String using inner HTML page dot locator locator dot so inner HTML as out inner HTML plus using inner HTML. That's it. So first I found that using inner text, using text content, and then using inner HTML. So three times it will it will take the it will capture the text and it will print. So we'll see by executing this. So this time it will not download anything. So it will open the browser. Just now it downloaded all the updates. Just open the browser. After loading the page, it will wait for three seconds and it will close. So it's still loading. Wait for three seconds. Yeah, it's done. Now you observe the text using inner text, using text content, and using inner HTML. So three times it printed the same output. Here is a dummy text with the ID, you know, something. And the same text three times, you observe that here, right? So three times, same text. So, so these three ways you can get any element text, which is you no, know, which is having the text, and you can print something like this: inner text, text content, inner HTML. Then, what is the difference between these three? Why to you know, use the three ways? One is enough, right? Whether you can use inner HTML or inner text or text content. So, why there are three different methods to print a particular element text? So, definitely there is a difference. So that we will discuss in our next videos, okay? So we'll see what is the difference between inner text, text content, and inner HTML by taking one example, okay? So but this is how you, normally this is how you can capture the element text in Playwright, okay? So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share the video, and you know, comment your thoughts in the com uh, comment section. That's all in this video. Thank you.